The Hanging Man. In his home in England, family man Ricky Beetle has gotten increasingly more worried about his son Elliot's abnormal behavior. One day, Ricky finds his son whispering to himself in his bedroom. So, Ricky decides to take out his phone and record as he asks Damn. little Elliot what's going on. Elliot, what are you doing? Oh, that's cool. What's that? What's that in the corner? The man's hanging. Oh, why are you The man's hanging, The man hanging, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. Yo! What does he do? Because he knows me out tonight. Why? Because he does this. Oh, really? Yeah. But I'm not going to tell Okay. Five-year-old Elliot explains that he's drawn the man that is hanging in the corner of his bedroom. A man that annoys him at night by banging on the wall. Now, as if that wasn't creepy enough, Ricky later finds his son seemingly talking to someone that only he can see. Stop it. Dude, just imagine walking in what are you doing? and you see your son just talking to just... Blankly into the air. Oh, really? Yeah. Right? You crying? And I just keep saying, stop it. You crying? Yeah. So, this is the photo of the hanging man he's seen in the corner of his room. I'm going to ask him to draw it again when I've rubbed it completely off. Elliot, can you draw the hanging man for me like you did before? No, can you tell me what's happening? What if I don't let him, like, he can sleep in my room? Is that okay? Wait, so what's the what's these on his face? Tears. What's this? Um spray. Oh, okay. Does he cry quite a lot? Yeah, because he's got his feet out of blood and he's up there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. But he annoys me out of the night because you keep saying he always back down you just Okay, thank you. Now Ricky believes that maybe his son Elliot just has a bit of an overactive imagination. But that soon changes. Dad Ricky becomes worried when the five-year-old can't seem to get any sleep for three nights in a row. Ricky decides to let his son try sleeping in a different room, and he installs a security camera to try to figure out what's going on. It isn't long before Elliot is woken up once again. When Dad Ricky checks the security footage, it makes his blood run cold. Now, Ricky thinks the strange growl in the footage is nothing more than a vent inside the room, but he has no idea what seems to be pulling Elliot out of the bed. Looking for any explanation, he decides to share his story on TikTok. So, just what do you think is going on here? Could Elliot's imaginary friend perhaps not be so imaginary after all? Is the hanging man real? And what does he want with Ricky's son? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Locked away. Over on the popular YouTube channel, Fourth Wall, they hear a story about a very haunted house. Fourth Allegedly, wall. the entity that haunts the house is so strong that it actually took the lives of three of the four family members who lived in the home. Locals claim that only the 10-year-old son was left alive, as his parents had kept him locked in the garage to keep him safe from this evil entity. Now, that was 20 years ago. So more recently, a paranormal enthusiast decided to do his own investigation to see if the house is really as haunted as locals claim. The man places a static camera in the room where the deceased family was found 20 years earlier. What he captures on video chills him to his core. No way.
The unexplained loud shaking of the house's garage doors can be heard in the video. But that's not all, because did you see it? Someone can be seen standing at the entrance of the Ooh. room, seemingly watching or waiting. After seeing this ominous looking figure in his footage, the investigator just gets out of there. The new owner of the house now fears that his home is cursed. So he contacts popular paranormal YouTube channel Fourth Wall and asks them to investigate the house. So, Fourth Wall sends in a cameraman to spend the night and capture whatever paranormal evidence he can. It did not go well. Yeah, your house is cursed. You need to bless the house, buddy. Yeah. Oh, hey. Just imagine hearing a voice blankly in an abandoned place. Not abandoned, but just a cursed house when there's no one there. Or The unexplained supposedly. voice of a woman can be heard, but what the voice says isn't clear. Cameraman is a bit freaked out and looks all around, but he is all alone in the house. The investigator decides to leave static night vision cameras inside and outside the garage where the little boy was found unharmed 20 years earlier. The man then leaves the property to see if anything happens while he's gone. When he reviews his footage later, he is shocked by what he captured. This is my comeback. Start yours at purdueglobal.edu. Yo. Garage doors begin to shake violently as a pale figure seems to walk past the lower opening of one door, ambling slowly towards the room where the family's bodies were found 20 years earlier. The camera outside the garage captures the same loud shaking of the garage doors, but there's no figure to be seen. So, 20 years ago, was this what took the unfortunate no, family's no, no, lives? No, no. And did they lock their son in the garage to keep him safe from whatever he, this he is? Killed him, man. You decide. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Fourth Wall. We need scary videos, so if you see something that you think should be on Nukes Top 5, be sure to email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Email link in the description. Cats in the Cradle. Nurse Marquette Jean from Mankato, Minnesota is enjoying a quiet night at home when suddenly her eye catches something strange on her daughter's baby monitor. Some glowing eyes you got there. Yo! Marquette Jean sees a bizarre figure that resembles a cat that seems to pass right through her daughter's Whoa. bedroom door. But when she asks little Everly about the cat, the three-year-old instead complains that, quote, there's a monster in the window and that she's scared. Now, oddly enough, 
Marquette says that her beloved cat passed away oh, last no, summer. No. She also says that, quote, weird and bad things have been happening in their home for a very long time. But this is the first time that they have ever caught anything on camera. It resembles her. not sure cat. exactly what this is. It literally resembles is. a cat, dude. Strange playmates. Afnan Arash claims that a strange presence has invaded his home in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Malaysia. He says that this powerful entity seems to grow stronger with each passing oh. day. There's, there's literally a shadow right there. <clears throat> oh, don't tell me there's nothing there. Oh, 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 oh. Afnan fully expects that one of his family members is simply playing a prank on him. But when he yanks the curtain back, oh, oh. there's no one there. But the bizarre paranormal activity in Afnan's house soon starts to become even stronger. <laughs> he opens and it stops. Okay. Now watch their pale. Ooh. Oh shoot, bro! That fucking trip, that fucking shook me, bro. Literally, a pale hand just came out of the cabinet. Something seems to be hiding in the very small cupboard in Afnan's kitchen. Something that quickly reveals a small, childlike hand. Afnan begins to wonder if the strange entity that he is dealing with is attempting to imitate a good. child. And to his horror, before long, whatever this presence is seems to attach itself to his young son. Assalamualaikum. Yo, his son is worshiping a fucking cursed demon. What the hell is that, dude? Oh, heck no, bro. Dubis. Kenapa Dubis selalu main di tu? Hah? Kalau Papa nak tahu, Papa buka. No, no. Oh, you flippin' serious? Afnan is horrified when his son seems to start playing with some strange entity that he can't see. But then, one night, the bizarre presence seems to show itself in its true form. Oh, here and it it's comes. pure nightmare fuel. Here comes the true form, the evil. <laughs> Yo! Something with long dark hair can be seen lingering behind the fridge, but when Afnan goes to look, there's nothing there. This thing then appears out of the darkness right in front of him. Whoa, whoa. Now, as always, I leave it up to you to decide whether the clips are real or not. Yeah. But either way, these videos are definitely very creepy. The Dark Visitor. TikTok user bro. Alex from the Dominican Republic receives a very bizarre video from one of his friends. The video shows his friend leaving his apartment to go to work at around 5.30 in the morning. What happens next is truly bizarre. While closing his apartment door, a very odd looking dark translucent figure can be seen in the background just walking through the hallway. But then it just disappears into thin air. The guy catches the figure from the corner of his eye, but he doesn't realize what it was until he reviews his CCTV footage. The clip went viral on TikTok, racking up nearly 7 million views, and tons of viewer feedback came pouring in. 
so to very quickly answer some viewer questions and even claims that the video was fake, the guy records a super quick video to explain exactly what happened. Este video el cual se viralizó no tiene ningún tipo de edición, así como yo le estuve explicando a Alex, está por la cámara que lo captó y este es el pasillo, fue todo real, mi gente, gracias. So, what do you think this could be? Is it real or is it all just a TikTok hoax? Demon child. You decide. Attachments. Attachments. Daniel Thompson from California lives with his mother in a house completely filled with his mom's collection of antique dolls, oh, dolls furniture, huh? and vintage trinkets. Well, hey guys, gonna get a little tour of my place because uh, mm. I guess some of you are asking about it. Hi, mom. Uh, hi, how are you doing? Check out this uh, 1930s Art Deco mannequin. Watch your eyes, man. Okay, all of this vintage stuff my mom got oh, this in like France, I think. Look at these dolls. My mom just like collects dolls. Every room of this house is filled with antique Even the bathroom. Daniel says that his mother has been collecting antiques for as long as he can remember. And he's starting to believe that some of the items might have something supernatural attached to them. One night when Daniel hears bizarre tapping coming from a room downstairs, he takes out his phone and begins to record. Guys. Do you hear that? That's trippy. Those are the tapping noises I was talking about. Just imagine him. Yo, dude. Yo, you live in a fucking trippy house, dude. Oh, don't. Dude, please. No jump scares, please, dude. What is this, bro? Oh, what? Oh, wait, 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 watch it. It's like knocking at the door. I'll open the door and there's... <laughs> don't, don't. Hello? Don't, don't. There's gonna be a freaking... After the odd experience, Daniel decides to install a security camera to keep an eye on the creepy antique dollhouse. Five days later, and this happens. This is why I don't. See, collecting antiques, bro, especially back in like the 30s, the 20s, bro, is. Miniature furniture inside the dollhouse seemingly moves all by itself. Cut to the next night. It's 2.30 a.m. and the knocking returns. But this time, it's not coming from the dollhouse. Don't. That's exactly the opposite thing that you don't. Oh, 
Yeah. At this point, Daniel has had enough, and he moves the old dollhouse into the garage with some other old collectibles. And this is when things start to get really creepy. Moving all the dolls with the other dolls, okay. Great idea. Yo, I I literally have like dolls behind me, dude. Or well, not dolls, but just stuff that can blink, bro. Disturbingly, a doll's eyes seem oh. to move on their own. Daniel begins to wonder if whatever is haunting the dollhouse might have moved into the creepy little doll. But some of Daniel's viewers on TikTok start to get a bit suspicious as to whether his clips are real. So some of you are saying that I am making all of this up, which I totally get. And honestly, I cannot prove to you. Yeah, you can't prove it. Undoubtedly that I'm, that it's real. I just am reporting to you guys what I am seeing. Now, even Daniel's own mother is skeptical of his claims that something from the dollhouse might now be haunting their home. But all that changes one night when she too experiences something downright chilling. Yeah, you tripped out too, huh? As Daniel's mother is watching TV on the couch, little footsteps like those of a small child can be heard running right behind her. The sudden spooky sound startles her so much that she quickly raises up to look and is visibly freaked out because there's no one there. So could Daniel's mother's hobby of collecting antiques for all these years be the yeah. cause of their paranormal experiences? Or is it They're all the just an elaborate hoax? Get rid of your cursed antiques. You decide. The man on the top floor. Japanese paranormal investigator Gachan from the YouTube channel Clip Store sets out to explore an old abandoned hotel all by himself. The hotel sadly had to close its doors in financial ruin over 30 years ago driving the owner of the hotel to tragically end his own life. Visitors to the abandoned structure often claim to have seen the apparition of a man, and some say they've even heard his voice. Now, while exploring the second floor of the hotel, Gachan is a bit shaken up when he hears strange noises coming from somewhere in the hallway. No, bro. right in front of you i'll just i mean carry on if you want exploring but you want to get freaked out even more yeah keep going one of the hotel room doors slams shut all by itself gachan's first instinct is to make sure that no other person is with him in the hotel and he asks several times whether someone is there. When he receives no answer, he takes a look inside the room, but no one there. During his investigation, Gachan keeps hearing something dripping inside the hotel's elevator shaft. Wow. 
When he reaches the top of the building, he takes a look inside the open shaft. What happens next is Yo, downright why would you chilling. Take a look at an open shaft. Please. No, 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 oh my gosh. I've got a dark space. Anything could peek out at you. Watch, look down to the face. I bet you. Oh, shoot, bro. That's trippy. I'm on my stairs. Yo, I got to go. Did you see it? Chan looks inside the elevator shaft but doesn't find anything to explain the strange dripping noise he's been hearing. But when he walks away, his camera pans around and captures the horrifying sight of two legs hanging inside the top of the elevator shaft. Yeah. Gachan doesn't even know what he just captured until he reviews his footage later at home. So could it be that these pale legs belong to the spirit of the deceased owner? Or is there something else going on here? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire two-part investigation over on the YouTube channel, Clip Store. The Haunted Nevada Ooh, State so prison. prison. Let's go. Paranormal investigator AJ from the YouTube channel Ghost Vexers Paranormal sets out to investigate the infamous Nevada State Prison in Carson City, Nevada. The prison was built in 1862 and housed some of the most notorious and violent inmates in the world, many of whom never made it out. With hundreds of deeply troubled prisoners that lost their lives inside its walls and 160 years worth of history, it's no wonder that the building is said to be extremely haunted. The old prison was closed down in 2012 and the custodians now host creepy tours to share the strange and very dark history of the prison. AJ is exploring the abandoned jail late at night in hopes of catching some sort of supernatural activity. As he's walking along a cell block all by himself, he captures something truly chilling. All right, I'm gonna head back. That was pretty terrifying. Right in front of AJ, a tall white figure appears to walk by and out of sight. The investigator says that he didn't even see the apparition at the time and only noticed it when he went back through his footage. Now, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you know that AJ isn't the first one to capture something truly bizarre at the old Nevada State Prison. The Haunted Side Paranormal Investigations team, Patrick and Jason, also caught something on camera in the prison that they just didn't see at the time. Jason is filming Patrick as he walks down one of the prison hallways. In order to provoke some sort of supernatural activity, Patrick is acting as if he's a new inmate who just arrived at the Nevada State Prison. And then, this happens. I'm the newest prisoner. Dude. Which cell's mine? Whoa. Did you see it? Even though the bright light shining on Patrick from the camera doesn't change at all, some odd black shadow suddenly envelops most of Patrick's body, blocking out the light. Yo, the Haunted Side team only noticed this strange unexplained light anomaly trippy. after reviewing their video later. There yeah. is no logical explanation as to why Patrick would suddenly yeah, be covered no in darkness. So, combined with AJ's bizarre white figure, we have two creepy incidents caught on camera at the Nevada State Prison. So is the old jail haunted by its former inmates? Let me know what you think. These paranormal moments can be found on the YouTube channels Ghost Vexers Paranormal and 
the haunted slide. For tracks. Take that user Creed 4 is enjoying a hike out in the woods when he notices a small bunny behaving very strangely. literally sounds like someone asking for help, bro. Yo, dude. Middle of the woods. A wild Hell rabbit no. freezes in its tracks and doesn't move even when the hiker comes close. And his camera captures a creepy muffled voice asking for help. believes he might have captured some kind of strange creature trying to lure him out into the woods. He says that he'll never hike again without some kind of weapon. So yeah. what do you think this creepy voice could be? Maybe, maybe trying to lure you into something, bro. Watch Let out. me know. Undetected. You can stop by viewer Jeremy Corona okay. reached out to me about a very strange incident very that he captured at his home in Santa Barbara, California. German says that one night he got an alarming notification from his security camera that a person had been spotted on top of his roof. He hurried outside to investigate, but he found no one and nothing there. The same night he receives another notification. Again, a person has been detected on his property. When he reviews his security footage, he is shocked by what he finds. What is that? Yo? Ominous figure. I saw that, alright? Is it the animal or the animal looking at something? I could have swore I saw something. It's a little hard to make out, but the faint shape of something can be seen moving around on German's property, seemingly climbing from the ground up to the roof and then back down again. Whatever it is seems to capture the attention of German's cat, who seems to stare at the bizarre shape before just looking around in absolute confusion. So could it be that German accidentally captured paranormal activity outside his home? Or what do you think this could be? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, it. do it now. And then also turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. You can also follow me on the socials and just say uh, hi there, Nuke. Anyway, hopefully I will see you next video. This was epic, bro. I was tired earlier, now I'm like fully awake. That is, that woke me up. And it is getting dark right now and watching these videos, I don't know, I just, I find it very exciting and it makes you entertained but also scared at the same time. I don't know why, but I just love the feeling. But overall, I hope you guys enjoy my thoughts and opinions to Nuke's top 10 ghost videos. So scary, you go wackadoo. If you guys want to watch it yourselves, look up Nuke's top 5. And if you like my opinion, subscribe, turn on the bell. Definitely be appreciated. Comment down below what else you guys want me to check out. And I'll definitely look what you guys uh, comment and definitely see which one's the best. 
and I'll definitely check it out. And whoever has the most requests, the most, I'll definitely check it out. So yeah, catch you guys next time for another video. Peace out.